Hello HP Touchpad users, today I'm going to show you how to reflash the A6 firmware on your HP Touchpad. Recently, there's been a lot of discussion here in the RootsWiki forum about battery drain issues on the HP Touchpad. Come check it out, look in the description for links. Uh, now our brilliant developer, JC Sellens, has spoken up and told us that there's a problem with the A6 firmware. Now this affects the battery drain during sleep in both WebOS and CyanogenMod. Doesn't matter what version you have installed. Over time, uh, the firmware gets a little flaky and basically the battery drain starts spiking a lot while the device is supposed to be sleeping. Now this will shorten our battery life and our longevity of the batteries as well. So this can be a big problem. Well, there's a quick and easy fix to this. Now he's advised us how to do this and I put together a step-by-step -step guide and you can check it out here in the RootsWiki forum. A lot of users have come forward and helped and put information together to make this guide. And I want to thank everyone who was involved. Anyways, check the links in the description for this. Now the first step to doing this, you're going to need to be booted into WebOS. Here I am in WebOS. Now all you need to do is start it up like normal and go to the just type menu here and just type. Now we're going to enable the developer mode but we're going to have to type in a little code to find it. So all we have to do is type in WebOS 200-90606. Once we've typed this in we simply need to press enter. Here we'll see the developer mode coming up. We're going to select this and we'll need to enable it. In the upper right corner here, you'll see a little toggle. We're going to toggle this to on. Now, you shouldn't have a password in by default, but you can add one. Just leave it blank though and hit submit. It'll take a moment and it will enable itself. Now we're all enabled. We're going to get our USB cable. We're going to plug it into our PC and we're going to plug it into our device. We're going to plug it into the HP touchpad and we're going to be all connected and ready to go to the next step on our PC. Now that the USB cable is plugged into the touchpad, we're ready for step number two. We need to make sure we have Java and the Novacom software installed on our computer. If you already have these installed, you don't need to install them again. If you don't have them installed, check the description of the video for download links. First download and install Java. Once that's complete, download and install the Universal Novacom installer. This will install the Novacom software. Once this completes, we'll need to navigate to the folder where the Novacom software is installed. By default, this will be located in C, Program Files, Palm Inc, Terminal. Here we'll find the Novaterm batch file. Double clicking this will start the Novaterm software. Now here we'd be ready to go, but some 64-bit users may be getting an error message when they start that, so I'm going to show you how to fix that. If this is the case, go back to C, go to Windows, scroll down, go to System Wow 64, and locate Java WEXE. Copy this. You're going to go one folder back to System32 and paste this file here. If this file is missing, you'll get an error message when you try to start the Novaterm software. I'm going to show you this now by simply copying and pasting this file into the System32 folder, you'll fix this. Like so. Now we're all set to go. If you don't have a 64-bit operating system, you won't need that step. Simply start from here. Now in the upper left corner, go to File and Connect. This long number here represents the HP touchpad. Select OK. Here in the terminal you can see I'm connected to Roland Deschain, which is the name of my touchpad. Now look in the description of the video for the command. Simply copy and paste the command into the terminal. Now, before I press enter and start this procedure, you want to note that you cannot unplug the touchpad once you've started this. You'll have to run the debrick process if you do that. Bad news. 
make sure the touchpad has a good charge and is in a stable position before you run this command. It only takes a minute. Now I'm going to press enter. You can see it started. When it finishes, it will notify me. We'll just wait a minute and find out. Once this is complete, our battery sleep problem will be solved. You can run this every few months if you notice any problems. Here you can see firmware update complete and the terminal is ready for a new command. Congratulations, you have now fixed the problem. Go to File, Disconnect, and close the window. You can now safely disconnect the HP touchpad and resume regular use. This will fix the problem in WebOS and any version of CyanogenMod Mod that you have installed. Please subscribe to see all the latest HP Touchpad updates in the future and like the video so more people will see it. Thanks for watching.